Hello everyone, I'm Anton64. And I'm the Flame Floor. And welcome to something a little bit different from what we usually do here at HFC. This is not an officially released Sonic game, no. They uh, surprised us on April 1st, 2023 with a, a rather nifty little visual novel by the name of the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Ooh. Now, if you've ever played a, uh, a Phoenix Wright game, Professor Layton, uh, I think Danganronpa fits the bill. Uh, you'll be at home here. This is uh, essentially a murder mystery. Yes, this was released as an April Fool's thing, although what I quite like about it is that it... <laughs> yes, we do have the little nickname Easter eggs here, which is cool. But this, I believe this stands on its own as just a Sonic spin-off in general. And I am having a lot of fun with this, by the way. This is going to be the most dicking around I have here, but <laughs> once we get into the game proper, we can talk about the game proper, I suppose. Now, this is actually my first time uh, going through this. I made sure not to play it. Flame is the one who recorded the game. I haven't watched any mm -hmm. LPs, so uh, it's going to be interesting to uh, see if the writing is as good as people have been saying. Uh, I know the music and the visuals uh, are fantastic, but the writing, that that's something that uh, remains to be seen. That was a, uh, a very Generation-style title card bubble. Yes, the UI in general is something that I do want to give a very special shout out to because I feel like that's the sort of thing, presentation-wise, that makes a big deal with visual novels. Given the gameplay is basically reading and you want the story to be presented to you in the nicest way possible, and this game does a fantastic job of that. Now, I will say, because this is a visual novel, a lot of the time uh, there will just be dialogue on screen. So for those moments when we have run out of stuff to say, uh, or we just feel like being hack frauds, we will be dubbing over stuff ourselves. Not with funny voices, I hasten to add. Well, I mean, if we just use our normal voices, that's kind of still a funny voice to most of our viewers. <laughs> well, I sound like a, a bastardised version of Steve Coogan, according to some, so yeah, I guess. We're both the people with bad teeth who say Tuesday, so to all the Yanks out there, they have a good laugh or whatever. Okay, let's uh, let's portion off some of these characters here. I'm going to take Protag, and I guess you can be the conductor? I guess. I don't know what sort of, like, deliverance he'll have. But all we have on the train is a microwave. I'm not doing that laugh. Uh, huff, <laughs> huff, 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 huff. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Now, if you were paying attention to the menu we just saw, we would have seen that it was the chicken. Mm -hmm. That is very similar to uh, the start of most Ace Attorney games, where you're given the uh, the autopsy file, the murder case file, or whatever, and you have to pick the correct one. Otherwise, you get scolded. I'm not sure if the uh, <laughs> the consequences are the same, but the, uh, the setup and the payoff is the same. So I think I'll be right at home here. When it comes to visual novels, there's different approaches that different games might take. There's some that, you know, are the choices matter kind of things, you know, where you get, like, a good ending if you pick all the right things and a bad ending if you don't. Ah. This game is a very linear sort of deal, so you haven't got to worry about that. There's no, like, fail state. You're not going to have to worry about having to start over or reload to save if you do something wrong. It, you are here just to enjoy the characters interacting and, you know, just... You're along for the ride more so than actually trying to influence it. Alright, who will be partaking in this little Poirot-esque adventure? We have Amy Rose, with a cake on her head for some reason. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. I'm not doing that. Thank fucking Christ. We don't need, like, two hours of that. Okay, I think picking characters is going to be a little bit harder, so uh, just take whatever you can get, really. I'm not being rouge. You're rouge. <laughs> it was a pen knucklehead. Who's going to miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Protag. You're sweating through your uniform. God, Sonic's design looks so cool in this. I love that outfit for him. <laughs> oh, rightio, friend. Why can't I be normal for one second? The pro tag in this game is actually just a really cool character in his own right. He's not just like the self-insert character. He has a lot of like witty lines and banter off the other characters. I, I've seen him paired with uh, 
buddy from uh, Sonic Forces a lot. Got a similar sort of idea going on in the fact that, you know, they're just the standing character, but he does actually have a canon name, which I didn't realise when I recorded this, which is why I went with a boring option. His canon name is Barry. Ah, okay, fair enough. Just to make this easier, why don't I take characters on the left, and you take characters on the right? I guess we could try that. Ah, <sighs> that stab. Brr, so-called Protag, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Ha, <laughs> no, no, I'm good. What else do you need? <laughs> of course, Flame will take Shadow, that's fair. He is on the right. Only three items on the menu? <laughs> Sorry, sir, it's not everything to your liking. No, damn you. Oh, wait, wait, that's not what it says. Uh, whatever. Don't have drinks listed? He's not wrong, but I'm still offended somehow. We offer water, coffee, and Chaos Cola as well, sir. I'll have to take you up on the coffee soon. Oh, jeez. He is 50. You know, I think it's fair that he's allowed to drink coffee. Yeah, although he spent most of that time just in a tube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you, you know that. Even that straight delivery was far too flirtatious for my liking. Wow, she's so polite, very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. I'm not sure about this particular characterization with Roosh, because they've changed her from being like, just, you know, like a jewel hunter, like a thief for work, into just a straight up kleptomaniac now. And I'm not sure that really is the original reading I had of her in the early days. Well, you know, this is a uh, exaggerated version of all the characters. It's not canon, so you don't have to worry about slight quirks here and there. And I say this entirely in earnest here. There's no reason this couldn't be canon. There's nothing here that kind of contradicts the last few official games that we've had. Ho ho, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Uh, sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Let's get up. <laughs> well, why can I not win with this group? That's the most important lesson to take away from this. You're going to be fucked over no matter what you do. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Oh, it's Amy's birthday. But that explains the hat, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty much like the setup, the framing device for this, why they're on this train. It's a day out for Amy's birthday. They're here to celebrate. Hopefully, nothing goes out of the ordinary, but you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe we should leave it to have fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, have fun. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We use this wisely. Thank you. Alright, who's next on the agenda for talking to? Oh, we were just clicking on random things, I see. Try to show off as much of the stuff here as I can that's not, like, just repeating stuff we've seen elsewhere. So, I've tried to show off as much as I can, but I'm try also trying to not waste too much time. I got you, mate. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? He's, he's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Oh, wow, ninjutsu. That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? Most certainly can. Oh, the conductor looks a bit too smug in that answer. Ah. The blue blur himself. Ticket, please. That was me. I was looking at Sonic. I was lost in his eyes. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. <laughs> when Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kid swore you would swoop in eventually, and he did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't swear a thing. Glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you, an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. I don't trust any of you fuckers. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Can I get your ticket, Yugen? 
Right here, sir. Of course, Tails would dress up as a detective. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jade's heart. No way, I bought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. You gotta read Crooked Flame. <laughs> I can't, but I just want to say that sparkle gelatin, I'm pretty sure that was one of the food items that you could buy in Unleashed. It sounds very familiar, actually. Yeah, Knuckles with the hat. Can I get your ticket? Thank you. I think that's a ticket? I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. <laughs> it looks good, apart from the fact that there was no copyright compenders written on the screen. Oh, Christ. That, that's the usage rule, you know. <laughs> Trade, be sure Protag only gets one of these if they ask. I can read that line just fine. It's an arm, it doesn't talk. Did the arm just kind of nod? Uh, actually, Trade, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Fa ha ha ha! Good try, young buck. Fifty lashings for you. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat. Those snacks look really tasty too. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket and please don't eat me? <laughs> uh, yes, sure, of course. Not sure about the second part. <laughs> As a gentleman of upstanding morals, unlikely, but alright. Is something amiss, sir? <laughs> I seem to have misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around and see if it turns up. That would be amazing. Thanks a million. It seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Yeah, Vector definitely bought one. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, what's sticking out of the napkin holder? Ah, it's a crumpled up ticket. Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. He's on the right side of the screen, but I've kind of been voicing him so far, so I'll just take the conductor. Yeah, that works out. <laughs> ah, nice little menu here to uh, work through all the items. Can you examine stuff? Turn it around, perhaps? No, it doesn't seem so. Unfortunately not, but you do get a little line of flavour text for each of the different items you pick up, so that's why I'll be going into the menu even when I don't necessarily need to. Mm -hmm. I'm saving room for my birthday cake. Oh, did someone bring a cake for you? Yes, that was Sonic's job. Oops. <laughs> Funny, Sonic looked awfully nervous all of a sudden. Uh, I, I think he might be in a bit of trouble here. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I was supposed to get Amy a cake. What am I gonna do? Uh, good luck with that. I'll figure something out. What have you to say, Blaze? You don't need to bow every time you see me. Uh, oh, sorry. Can I take your order? Saving myself a cake and marriage. Are you sure? Uh, what? Don't mind that last part. Find anything yet? Let us look through the menu. Well, we might just have what you need. Protag, why don't you show our friend what we picked up? There's the ticket. Bada bing. There's my ticket, thank you so much. Ignore the, it's just as crumpled up as Knuckles one was. Oh, you, you are so bad at catching things on the hop here, Flame. I know, but I wouldn't leave without a fight, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> ha 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 ha, I also like to laugh. Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're only getting paid for one of them. Of course, just let me know if you need anything else. That was meant to be you, but she's kind of in the middle of the screen there, so I get yeah, why I'm you quite were... sure about that one. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the conductor's car. It's in red, so you know it's important. You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely. You can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. I don't know, that's not the impression I got. Assist Protag if they need any help, won't you? Dot dot dot. Fa ha ha! That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please, have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all that. 
For everything else, please talk to Protag here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Oh, pulling triple duty here. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Yeah, this is a, a very typical thing at a murder mystery. You're usually assigned a character at the start and uh, one person may get the uh, the murderer card and they have to make sure that they don't, you know, reveal that to anyone before the time is right. Yeah, God, I know I would fuck that up. I have the worst poker face ever. Uh, dude, have you heard me trying to lie? I, like, laugh halfway through every time. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Incubitably. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that, actually. There is none. A chance to pilfer, perhaps. Vector, you're the butcher and SBO the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, SBO? We get to hang out together. Do what? Read? Also, where's Charmy? Um, uh, maybe we should be asking that. Shadow is the locksmith, hanging out in the lounge. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? I think so. Ah, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than alright. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah, fancy little hand-drawn map. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Those tunnels, pathways between rooms will undoubtedly be very important. Yeah, thankfully we do have this in the inventory if we ever do need to refer back to who's where, but as I was saying earlier, the story is quite linear, so there's not really much opportunity to get lost here, thankfully. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues and interrogate, and call a staff meeting when you need to, that's important. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations. It's nice to be doing a different type of Sonic game. I would honestly be fine if they turned this into an official series. Same, honestly. I feel like there is a lot of potential for this kind of thing, because obviously this one's just playing up the character interactions, given, you know, like, it's the April Fool's game, it's the novelty game. But, like, they could tell plenty more stories through this format. Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. That sounds like something a murderer would say. <laughs> Indeed. Right before murdering. Like, if there's one group of people I would not trust with my life, it's journalists. <laughs> mm. Tells us you, by the way, just going forward. What do you think everyone's doing? Mm. Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the law cards are confidential. No one knows what the person who receives them. Hey! My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. Based. My law is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Relatable. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this sounds kind of fun. This does sound kind of fun, I wanna do this. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Oh? I thought that was music from 06 for a second. Not quite, no. Nah. What is going on? I'm slipping! <laughs> uh, hold on! Hold on to what exactly, though? <laughs> uh, ah! No! And so everyone died. It was the murder of the entire Sight the Hedgehog cast. The microwave isn't being attended to, Barry. You're both awake. Y yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Wow, how exhilarating. 
I know the production on this train is astounding. This is very Ace Attorney esque music, I gotta say. It's definitely more intense than I expected. <laughs> it seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. Oh. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others, Protag. Could you get the door? Yeah, let me just engage my superhuman strength here. Huh. It seems the door is blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that falling shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Trademark. Let's find another way out. Uh, I'll start looking for clues. You didn't bring your hammer, did you? I'll search over here. I know Amy, she's hiding something. Oh well, she's a journalist, that goes without saying. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have psychics. I'm gonna need your help. But tells you are the psychic. Oh. That's literally your role in the series. What a paradox. <laughs> Check everything out around the closet and then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the situation. So this is basically the gameplay loop here. You're going to be looking around the environments, just sort of collecting things before you can confront whoever it is you're dealing with at that particular point. It's, like I say, a very simple setup, but it works. It gives you enough time with each of the characters to get to know what their role is. Mm -hmm. And again, very much like Ace Attorney, there's an investigation phase and then there's like a trial phase. What are you doing with that spoon, Amy? Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. <laughs> How do I become as optimistic as this kid? Uh, hang out with Sonic, maybe? <laughs> what do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. But the microwave's in here. <laughs> <laughs> My cast iron skillet has gone a lot of use lately. Ah, nice. I can cook a mean iron cast iron pizza. I've only had microwave lunches this week. Oh, Barry. The wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Why is there a picture of a human on there? Uh, well, I mean, humans might slip over and do their back in. <laughs> ah, true, true. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. Going so fast, he, was so, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. <laughs> was that Eggman by any chance? Well, it's the fort that counts, I suppose. The shelf blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, Protag, look closely at this. I'm looking. Hmm. That looks like a bite. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. Well, we ran out of microwave mills and I was still hungry. <laughs> oh, Jesus. you got to get your fibre in. Uh, I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. Somehow. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amy, you trying to do a Nuri Keller impression there? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Finally, Kadabra is back in the Pokemon franchise. Hallelujah. I'm not t sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it, spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick is added to your inventory. Just the one stick. This isn't the Boom Universe. <laughs> Right, so now for the interrogation. But she can't be guilty, so what's the point? But we want to know what she's hiding. Fair enough. I found a spoon. If we found two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train? <laughs> uh, I'll keep looking. Hmm. Start interrogation. We believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you! This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Hmm. Yeah, that's the only logical one that works for me. You attempted to escape the closet. Oh, prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape, or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Protag, let me step you through this. We just have to plant some. Ah, I see. We're gonna have to look through the inventory and decide which piece of evidence fits which argument. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? Yeah, I guess that would be it. Don't make the mistake of, like, 
trying to figure out which item caused the thing. You're trying to look for uh, the uh, the logical conclusion here. Yeah, it's which one supports the argument you're making at that point in time. So, now I have to explain myself. Well, uh, you see, I, uh, well... When I get stumped, I like to think, what would Sonic do? <laughs> yeah! What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. Like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure. Whatever works. Close your eyes and think, what would Sonic do? And find your argument. Alrighty, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback, like Sonic would do. Alright, gameplay time. Yeah, I've heard about this. I will say up front, I am very bad at this, so I hope you're not expecting good runs on these levels. <laughs> <laughs> never am, mate, never am. But uh, yeah, it's just kind of a, a special stage sort of thing. Follow the train of thought and make it to the end in one piece. Oh god, I'm getting flashbacks to uh, Sonic and the Fallen Stars bonus stages. Oh, do you like them jumps that are just a little bit shorter than you expected? <laughs> mm, sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall onto. You're telling me on a train that's well kept that the damage here was before we arrived? Kind of enunciated wrongly there. Well, well I... I believe someone's responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall onto. What was the shelf hit with, then? Hmm, I wonder. Sure. That does look like the end of a hammer to me. What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? You believe that a shrimp fried this rice? <laughs> I have heard that this is perhaps a little bit too repetitive, like you have to do this for every deduction, but at the very least it seems, you know, fairly easy. Well, they do get quite a lot harder later on, although you can turn down the difficulty if you want. If you are just here for the story, there is a setting in the options to make that easier. Oh, okay. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could, like, let's say, a hammer. What? Well, ack! This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. <laughs> Exclamation mark! You attempted to hit the shelf out of your way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. <laughs> ah. ah! Ah! It's as you both said. I tried to get us all out of here with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. Well, you know, it was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need her. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Little bow grease there and fixed. Tails, thank you. <laughs> According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. The, the shelf completely shattered, incredible. I'm not paying for that. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Let's. I've had enough of this stinking closet. Oh my. Wait, is that? Oh no! <laughs> it's the fucking pose on it. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! That's not the right expression for that. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me! Ta-da! <laughs> dot dot dot. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Uh, Sonic? Eh? Uh, body. Numb. Come, move. What are you saying? I don't understand. Just... Need to rest. S Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He he's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on here? 
Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh, oh no, oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Protag. What do I do? Um, do what Sonic does, I guess. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. I mean, they have a lot of gold rings, so... I guess? <laughs> they tend to lose them a lot as well, so... I need to catch up to Amy and Tells and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of a game, I can't just risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Oh, my name isn't Barry T. Protag. Ooh. Fancy. Yeah, I gotta say, I've enjoyed this so far. The, uh, the art is... Sublime. The music is great. It's uh, both Sonic E and Ace Attorney E, which isn't a word, but fuck you. This is a murder mystery. Anything can happen here. It's you know it's happening now. Uh, Armachow is a wanted man, which is good. This should have happened uh, years ago. But I want to know about the people who helped to bring this delightful little uh, April Fool's prank. One of the best, I might add. One that you could actually interact with, and you don't feel sad afterwards because it isn't real. I want to know the people behind it, mate. Specifically for art and music. Okay, so this was put together by a team of various people who have done work in the community just in general. But for art, we have the character designs like these portraits that you see in here were done by somebody going by the name of Minho Kim. His online handle is DigiMin. They've actually done some work on the Sonic IDW comics before. I think they've done some front cover art as yes, well. Yes, yeah, I thought I recognised the art style actually. Also, the backgrounds and the prop arts. There's two names that I've seen credited for this. There's Matthew Thebes and also Eric Omega. Uh-huh. Katie, Katie Krasnowski, did put out a Twitter thread of all the different people who have worked on different things. So if you want to see the full credits, you can go to look at her thread. And if I remember, I'll link to that in the comments of this video. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> if not, it's out there on her Twitter, so you can find it there. Alrighty, back to the story. We'll cover more of the credits as we go through. He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. Cough. Enough of that. Thank God. I <laughs> wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. Knuckles respects the kayfabe and I can appreciate that. Uh, he does and never use that word to describe Knuckles again. Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? So the thing is, for every, anyone else, that would seem suspect, but that is just Knuckles in his day-to-day -day life. <laughs> yeah, he was bored by himself, he gets it on by himself, he don't need no posse. The song basically spells it all out for you. Alright, let's do it. It's investigation time, suckers. Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. This is the first time Omochow has ever been wanted. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Damn. He got done for medical malpractice, what the fuck? <laughs> Something's always hidden in the trash, now let's check there. Sadly, this one's empty as well. No it's not, I can, I can plainly see it isn't. I think he means as in there's nothing worth paying attention to in there. <laughs> Fair enough, as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure, haha. -ha. That's a cope. <laughs> I think Tells is ignoring me. <laughs> Ah, the ball of assorted nuts, the classic saloon snack. Kind of bland. Huh, seems like someone licked all the salt off them. What? <laughs> or maybe they're just unsalted, that makes a lot more sense. Or that, yeah, that's the better option. The robotic arms here are really helpful. There's more than one? He's ignoring us. <laughs> what, what's the hop doing to my hair? You fixed it up a bit, that's incredible! What interesting tech! Uh oh, should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? I think if your job is the microwave guy, then your job is already at risk. Why are there three cups? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. Huh. 
Protag, this one has lipstick on the room. Who could it be? That's not Knuckles' colour at all. <laughs> you stupid motherfucker. What Knuckles does in his own time is up to him, okay? <laughs> Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Oh, I see. Well, you know, they don't have to pay for any licenses because, you know, it's not a for sale product. Who could have done that? I wonder. <laughs> what are you two looking at me for? Smashed arcade is added to your inventory. This is a big fucking infantry bag we got here. Really? Alright, time to confront Knuckles. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I was slipping into the accent there. I like your hat. Hmph. Yeah, I like the aviator. I said leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave. Hmph. Not hungry. Well, if you ever are, let me know, won't you? Sure. Like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Protag, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. Damn it! Uh, thank you, butler. Dang it! Alright, let's actually interrogate him for real this time. Thank you. There's hijinks, and then there's antics. And I only condone one of those at a time. I love Tails' little hat. Thankfully, we don't need to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Oh, exclamation mark! It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Protag, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? I wonder... Ah, it's a shame to see Super Monkey Ball in this state. Like, look, I've had mixed feelings about the uh, remake as well, but it was still a good game at the end of the day. Mostly just stuff like the art style, and I kind of miss the old announcer, as shitty a person as he is, IRL. Oh, I haven't heard anything about that, but I will say, Super Monkey Ball, it's one of those series that I'm familiar with more through osmosis than anything. I haven't actually played the games myself. Well, it's all about going fast, so uh, maybe you should give it a shot one of these days. Maybe, I know my taste is very typecast. <laughs> yes, Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... <laughs> I, I, I was going to say it has punches in it, but this works as well. This proves nothing about the current situation. May have been off the mark there. Let me try again. It's a good job you don't have a, uh, a punishment system in this game, because if you get five things wrong during a trial in Ace Attorney, you uh, lose the case and go back to the last place you saved. It does make sense, but for this kind of game, it's more about the story than like the actual mystery itself, so I can see why they didn't want to fail state here. Just a sort of nurse to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. <laughs> How will you? I'm on it. Protag, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on! There we go again. So is this thing like a Dreamcast meets a Game Gear? I think that's what they're going for. Yeah, or like just a parody of the Game Gear in itself. I remember the Dreamcast, so I know I could put out much more technically impressive visuals than this. <laughs> uh, you know the uh, the guy who uh, designed, or I guess composed the iconic uh, stops out for the Dreamcast passed away recently? I did, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, I'm going to look up his name. You uh, pay attention to the text and whatnot. So we're looking at the scores to see how owned Knuckles got. And there he is exactly one point behind Vector. Oh, bless. Tells us something massive. Just look at the name on top of the list. <laughs> it's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Uh, I believe his name was uh, Riruchi Sakamoto. Now, oh, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Vector beat you. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Grrr. He's, he's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here, now! Uh, no, it was the other Vector who's in the train with us. 
uh, could be Vector Man. Who knows? Maybe like on another dining cart, there's a uh, other Sega characters. You know, maybe uh, uh, Ristar's there. Maybe Alex Kidd is there. You don't know. No, the idea of them actually doing something with Ristar these days is not believable even by this standard. <laughs> uh, not as fiery as that bird about uh, Omni Child being wanted, but still rather scathing. Yeah, God, that that needs like. Uh, new game by the Mania team. I think they're the ones who'd give it the right kind of respect. So there's three cups here. One has to be for Knuckles, one has to be for Rouge, and that proves that there was a third person sitting here. Or you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. How could you? I, it's, it's not like... It's not like... I, I wasn't... And don't tell Amy! I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade game with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told you an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this uh, friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what of the cup with the lipstick mark? Uh, Rouge was in here too. Interesting. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up and I told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm. I'm understanding the scenario. Vector insisted, visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left, and then Knuckles destroyed the machine. All that makes sense to f I can't speak words, apparently. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Oh. Come on, fess up. I'm gonna step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Oh. Protag, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? <laughs> there it is. All the other names have fin a food theme, but not this one. Who here goes by Ultimate? May not know Protag, but there is someone here that goes by the title The Ultimate Life Form. Whoa! There he is, doing a minimum wage job. There, there's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? Yep. He gave me this before he left. Fancy. Oh yeah, he's the locksmith. Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone, then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him, saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too, the master key. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why Shadow locking doors? What was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me, even though I asked that with the cowboy accent. <laughs> You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. Bada bing, bada boom. Another innocent proven. Yeah, like, Tails has just been listening to this whole thing thinking he's stupid, it checks out. <laughs> yeah, that, that's consistent, that makes sense, and he has an alibi. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Protag, let's head to the library. This is way more exciting than microwave and chili dogs. Protag! Protag! Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Coming! I had an out of body experience there. Alright, so we do get some views out the window, and I think this one's interesting, because doesn't that chain look familiar? It sure does. It almost looks like it leads to uh, a certain miraculous spheroid. Yeah, we'll roll with that from the best 2D Sonic. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Alright, best classic Sonic. Still not sure about that. <laughs> so easy to roll you up. <laughs> you got it, partner. <laughs> Onwards. 
All right, what we got next here? Ah, the library. Hang in there. Aw. This is a really fancy train. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favourite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Before you go, SPO and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Oh god, I'm getting so confused. <laughs> I, I don't know who's so anymore. <laughs> okay, well, I'm Amy, and you're everyone else. Oh, she's confident. She must have something up her sleeve. She's not wearing sleeves. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you, and quick. But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car's locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. Wink. <laughs> and I'm, uh... Here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starved, I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right now. <laughs> Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. <laughs> I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. I have a rose. A resonant message from Poet Reader meant to challenge the delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Sure, uh... Teardrops in the spring, can you hear me sing? La 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 la, da di da da da. That was shit, SP. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of bad, yeah. Is that it? <laughs> I have more if you like. I, I like how they had the chance to uh, put Charmy here, like, in the place of the Chows, and they still chose not to. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow and Sonic all passed through this library car, where Amy told me and SBO to stay. Okay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Would you like me to take SBO just so not reading Please everyone? Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next line I'll take him. Where was Rouge? We happened to see our lipstick stain on a cup of the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard a shout, No way at the brochure stand over there. But she left back at the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action that I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. Boy, someone really loved Super Monkey Ball on this damn team. <laughs> then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. Okay. When Vector came back, we realised Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it alright. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. With all these locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car, so that rules these two out. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're going to peek around and return with questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, i got you covered too. <laughs> uh, we go, Despio, thanks. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to work! Let's look at a globe. Globe of our marvellous planet, Sonic's world, or Earth, or Mobius. <laughs> Christ. 
<laughs> They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people in shops. The food can't be beat. Ah, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. This should be canon. Oh, poor thing, that arm's really struggling cleaning up the car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, Hang in there. Well, I really need to see this. This little chow is hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety because choosing the hogway is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. Uh, there's no way that much thought was put into this poster, right? Fuck you, let me drink. <laughs> See, this is empty. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Ah, I really thought there'd be something there. Protag, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? Uh, no, I'm alright. I'm sure uh, there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Protag, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Oh, was that supposed to be a compliment? Ah, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so plush puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. You can try doing one and fall into the other. <laughs> Don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? Oh, well hopefully the murderer will come along while I'm sleeping. No, that's a bad thing. <laughs> no, trust me, it's good. What's this bright red book? Oh yuck, this freaks of the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. <laughs> what kind of recipes? Who cares, I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird it's even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. Wink. Shall I supposedly walk through the library car before going into the saloon car? When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on the way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Yeah, this is a... Uh, sus, at the very least. Oh, I just noticed! Buddy is on the wall there! <laughs> oh my god, he's got the fucking stare and everything. He's got the gamer cap. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Protag, look at this, there's a couple maps here. Interesting. There seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorised by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map, let's take it. Library map is added to your inventory. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's stalactites. Nah, leave it. Oh, haha. -ha. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behaviour, I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing, they're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. It's called being human, Espio. <laughs> well, he's a fox, so strike one. There's Professor Pickle! I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me, no time to rest. Is he still family guy posing back there? Let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging for all the book tiles excitedly. He's like a kid in the candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but... Every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one... Ah, would that imply that it's been put back? It's the user guide to the Mirage Express. Yeah, I think Protag has the right idea here. Let's make a note of it. I think we've found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what happened. Were you really playing Super Monkey Ball? I just wanted to beat Knuckles, okay? <laughs> I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? <laughs> I'm a man of authenticity tales. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup-stained apron. 
I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. But what if I hit the knife? You're not helping, <laughs> Bacta. <laughs> no, that's even more sus. <laughs> Can I take your order? Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. Then why would you show the menu to me? Yeah, especially to a crocodile. Why would you tease him like that? And I thought I could trust you. You've made a fool of me. Oh, Chaotix is going bankrupt for sure this time. Come on, Protag, smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. I smooth things over, but at what cost? It's fine, just everyone hates me now. Oh, we got Chaos Cola ad. Yep, that's uh, from SA2, I believe. Also, Chow in Space, how fucking prophetic was that? Start the interrogation. So the two of you don't believe us. It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't, wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Protag and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to play games with Knuckles, and if SBO really was just reading? Uh, Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library card to visit Knuckles? We prepared to present words. <laughs> That's easy. I got bored. Uh, are you having a stroke over there? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. I remember the arcade machine was in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we've gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library card, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Oh, a bit of deflection there. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. It must have been a good read, what was the book? SBO doesn't know you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? You're not helping. What kind of things do you think I read? I've got six tickets right here. Got any other questions? <laughs> Protag, could you help me out? All right, Protag, what book do we think SBO may have been reading? Well, we've only really got one, so it has to be there. Yep, the train manual. Oh my god, he's a fucking train nerd! <laughs> <laughs> what argument could you possibly have to support this? Alright, we're gonna have to really deduce the hell out of this one. Yeah, as you can see, the ring counts are going up and need 40 this time rather than 30. It's getting a lot more aggressive with the spikes too, and it attacks you. Oh, interesting. See, what I was thinking is, the flashing was gonna remove part of the track. That would definitely make it a lot harder. Yeah, no, it's not quite your yeah, Egg Viper or Egg Wyvern. You haven't got to worry about that just yet. It, it would make sense from a gameplay perspective, though, because often when trying to come to uh, a solution on something, I fall through the logical cracks. Huh. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SBO. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my power like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, SBO. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. I was right. I can't fucking believe it. Protag, if you don't mind. <laughs> <sighs> Exclamation mark. Do you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? I would probably go with one in the middle, because you can read the start and you can read the end, and it's the middle that's usually the part that indicates someone's read something. Yeah, maybe, but also I was just randomly clicking options. <laughs> that's, that, that's fair. Now, I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being poured onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like SPO asked that question. Protag, hit him with another one. Okay, I throw a book at SPO. No, it's not that type of RPG. <laughs> uh. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Uh, 
How convenient. Let's see if SVO can get three for free. Okay, gotcha. Which page should I pick last? What was implemented to support the conductor's duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to ensure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Huh. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, everything seems to check out there. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual, those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that? Vector, you are just making this seem like a hundred times more suspicious. Really? You have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly, that's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after all, my alibi is hard to substantiate despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can- Espio, is that true? Vector's the only one to see you reading? Oh... Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Oh, do we now? Protag? He always puts me on the spot. Okay, Protag, think. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw Espio reading. But what? The floor plan? No, Shadow's locked because he came in and out and locked the door both ways. He's been through because he was playing the game with Knuckles, wasn't he? We're up, Protag. Let's get our argument together. Uh-oh, back to the Game Gear again. I'm surprised the battery's still working on this. God, yeah, you'd think after two rounds it would be gone. Uh, this is so much more well-detailed than an actual Game Boy. Or Game Gear game, rather, I should say. Yeah, like, the Game Gear did look good for its time, but there's just some extra layers of shading going on in the background that you wouldn't have been able to pull off. Oh, yeah. The colours of these, uh, tutti-fruity paths we're walking on, they put me in mind of Sonic 3 and Knuckles special stages. I was thinking Flicky's Island, and that wasn't a good thought. Hey. Shadow walked through the library card to get to the saloon car where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers! <laughs> Christ. But we've mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at that point. Oh. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh-oh. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Uh, well, are you see? I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how could Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. Wait a minute. It's a mystery, my dear Protag. One that I would love for Espio to solve. Cock chameleons, camouflage. Hmm. Hmm. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow passed back with the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. <laughs> if you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. But why does this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Something's not adding up. Yeah. Tails. We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associate, lay it on me. 
What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Now this is a classic Ace Attorney thing. The overhead map, of course. Alright, uh, let's get my thoughts in order. Because Espio clearly could have heard Shadow come through. That doesn't necessarily mean he saw him. So you'll get a lot more out of this, I think, if you have actually played visual novels, especially the Ace Attorney series. Most likely, yeah. I will say that that's kind of a blind spot for me, personally. But it is a series that I do see the appeal of. Oh, jeez. If you can't tell, I'm not very good with this isometric angle. I see why they picked the checkerboard, because it does help you judge the depth a bit, but it's still a little bit jank for me. Mm -hmm. See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down the straight path, there's a way that Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Right there. Behind the shelf. Interesting, that's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot, because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you could have seen him. I apologise for losing my call back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you for both for answering our questions. We did it! Another pair of alibis! Validated! Which, in fairness, is kinda hard to prove the negative that you didn't see Shadow go through. Gonna crash here for a bit, but these chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Thirdly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh? It seems like the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. And that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give them heck, and if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. <laughs> I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose while doors keep getting locked. Tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. Stick to your day job. Yeah, your low paying, rent scary day job. Coming! We are this bitch. Sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? <sighs> no, the mystery calls, I am afraid. Investigation continues! Huzzah! Oh, ring-a-ding-ding in -ding other casino-adjacent terms. You know, if we weren't investigating the murder of a certain Sonic the Hedgehog, I'd uh, take a whack at that claw machine over there. Why does that chow have a moustache? That's important. He's kind of the guard chow, so he's got to stand out somehow. <laughs> hmm. Now, if I recall correctly, you know, this has been a uh, fairly long recording session for us. You're Rouge, so I'm going to take Blaze. Ah, please, don't let that be my legacy. Tells us right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell them, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? Alright. I've been hunting for a treasure rumoured to be stored here on the train. Uh, treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about the treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell them what it is, Rouge. Alright, well... It's a Fabergé chow egg. I probably pronounced that wrong. <laughs> it's a Fabergé. Fabergé, okay. <laughs> Whatever. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She roped me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train car for clues. I deduce that the Fabergé chow egg is here in this train car locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Tariq? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written on it. The safe code, even. <laughs> the train's blueprints? Please, Tariq, let's see that. 
Ah, uh, uh, uh. find the keeper, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room. Holding the cow egg, I give up. <laughs> We're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Fabergé chow egg? Yeah, and apparently we're okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Why does Blaze have to be so proper about everything? She's perfectly role-playing right now. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Protech, do you have an opinion on this? <laughs> um... <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I suppose if both Blaze and Protech are in. Yeah, let's get that egg. That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Hopefully he can't hear us. <laughs> oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Oh, I love this. Uh, that's like Sonic the Sketchhog. A little bit, yeah. Alright, uh, honestly I feel the best thing to do is distract the guard. Just throw an animal or a chaos drive their way and uh, that chow will leave his post no problem. That's profiling, Tom. Yeah, whatever. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? I have a lovely pair of distractions. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. I think they're all asexual, honestly. Plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being the distraction makes sense. Oh well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. So, who's distracting the security guard? Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Good, great. Her voice was so stoic, I have chills. Oh, well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Yeah, that seems about right. Who puts a claw machine in a casino? This will work great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? Well, I have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That carrying uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent, we can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. Yeah, let's go back to the whole Rouge is a kleptomaniac thing now, which I'm... Yeah, that's not Rouge. <laughs> uh, I know, I know, whatever. Let them have their literal interpretations. And you've been marrying into a royal family, what's your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? None at all, Pekka. <laughs> uh, well, uh, um, you dress far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what, maybe we should try something else. Interesting, you give up far too easily as well. We have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Protag, what's your plan? Hmm. Absolutely vital, I can think of nothing worse. <laughs> Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great, and with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it in the elevator. Inside, we... That's a proper victory. Ignore that we're all underage. <laughs> uh, well, it's apple cider. It's not real hard alcohol. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, let's just high-five all the arms. <laughs> we should be able to disengage them. I just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh, no. Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. <laughs> uh, pretend there's nothing wrong. Cope, cope. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. Now this isn't like other TV shows or whatever where, as we're discussing the plan, it's going up without a hitch in the background. We're gonna have to, uh, oh, I, I guess it did, never mind. We couldn't have made it this far without you both, you have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé Chow Egg. Did I do it right that time? Uh, no you didn't. 
This is the casino car. I suppose it's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings too? Rings? You can find those laying about in the grass. That's of no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize. Right, we've got to find the safe. With the egg inside. I don't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> No question, this has got to be the safe for our treasure. What tips you off about that? <laughs> Enter the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 230401. Coincidentally, the day it came out. <laughs> ah, there you go. I was going to say it's Sonic's birthday, but that's June, I think. Alright, before anyone sees, let's get out of here. Hold on, you can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Ugh, Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Grab the egg and twist it! The old egg twist! Good. Great. Awesome. Outstanding. Amazing! Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg secret because each egg is a bomb? A bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. <laughs> oh, Christ. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it after all our hard work? Rouge? Fine, fine. Well, what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Oh, Christ on our bike! So, there's a lot here, and I will say, when I first played through this, before recording it, I did get the right one first, and I was surprised for myself. It's this one here. Well, we could have had let Rouge kiss the egg. We need to dispose of the bomb, Protag. That is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that. But, what if the egg isn't a bomb? Ah, uh, I can see a fold in the middle of it. Is it a clock? I think you're on something. Spit out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just... Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the trans manual. Flashback. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. They can also detect weapons or explosives. Oh, okay. So there wouldn't possibly be a bomb on the train. We hope. <laughs> Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have had a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as this egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. Huh. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is a conductor, and surely he wouldn't have allowed such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. I guess this seems smart. <laughs> okay, we wait. Okay. And so they waited. God, imagine if it just kept ticking for like a day straight. <laughs> <laughs> it's hollow, not a bomb at all. Oh. You both really were onto something. Phew. My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Ian, look what's inside. Oh, wow. Look at that sparkle, and it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? They sell these, by the way. The sonic hair, the shadow hair, etc. It looks like the things you get out of the twist machines. You know, you put a penny in and twist the thing to get a toy out. <laughs> oh, God. D don't say such a thing. Jesus. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. As much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. Was this in character or not? I'm having a hard trip. Oh, hey, I see you operating that slot machine. Get back to work. I uh, hope they subdued the drink coaster feet okay. Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun. But I prefer to never do it again. <laughs> Our Rouge. She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. 
What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints, now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look. While I appreciate your assistance, it's as I said, find us keepers, even though you all helped. But I promise to let you take a peek later. <laughs> I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. I don't. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. I don't think there's any reasoning with her, she's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, and... We have a murder mystery to attend to. Oh yeah, that thing we were doing. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck. <laughs> the door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Protag. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. I think we should look around the casino a bit first. It's a Sonic game, so you've got to get a casino level in somewhere, right? It still counts. Hey, Twinkle Park. Nice. The capabilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. Yeah, I don't know, the conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that's true. They're very versatile. Tails, we must search the trash bin. It's empty. Oh? Oh? Did I hear an oh? I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even peeking into the trash. See, it's about persistence, Tails. My dad told me that when he met my mother, he would drive her to work two hours something Tuesday with a flower in his garden. You get it? She quickly agreed to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, the two were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. God, you couldn't have, like, gone a little bit slower for me to read this. I'm trying to pace it, but I'm not very good at that. Leftover stick from a lollipop, that's all that's there. Is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? <laughs> Just... leave me be. That's Dr. Eggman's logo. I suppose he does deal a lot with casinos. He's an evil scientist that's always caused trouble for us and Sonic. Huh. Every poker chip I've personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it, so I'm not surprised to see this here too. Yeah, I guess he has like legitimate enterprises as well besides trying to take over the world. Well, he's gonna have to fund all of these like robots somehow, isn't he? Exactly. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's play the slots. Alright, let's see. Big money, big money! Well, I lost. Do I try again? Alright, let's see. Big money! Big money! Well, I lost. Do I try again? Alright, let's see. Big money! Big money! Well, I lost. Do I try again? Protag, what do you expect to happen if you keep playing? <laughs> big money? I'm gonna get it this time, you'll see. Well, I lost, but maybe next time I'll get it? Alright, let's see. Big money, big money! Well, I lost. Do I try again? This is getting to be a problem. I think it was a problem like five attempts ago. <laughs> you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, right? I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry, Tails. I've got it this time. For sure. Well, I lost. Do I try again? Alright, let's see. Big money, big money! Is the whole video just this, Flame? No comment. Have you ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? <laughs> Damn, the sunk cost fallacy? I ain't reading all this shit. Blah 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 Go to Wikipedia. Of course I've heard of it. Why do you ask? No reason. Alright, big money, big money! Well, I lost. Do I try again? Uh, I'll be over here when you decide you're done. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like someone's run through all of the dialogue. And you're lucky I didn't decide to repeat the whole thing. <laughs> oh, thank Christ. Hey, <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'll think about it. What has Farouk got to say? Now, what can I do for you, darlings? Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Farouk? When Amy began the merge mystery, what did you do? Yes, tell us. Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her on on my egg hunt. 
We split up at the casino car, and I went searching for the blueprints. Walked back through the library and saloon cars till I found it in the library car. Right. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around, and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rook. You take care now. Likewise, darling. I can't flirt with myself like that, it's awkward. <laughs> also, Tails is 8. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. What's your alibi? You think you could go over your alibi again for us, Blaze? When Amy became the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Favage chow egg. We walked and talked to the casino car where we went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered where the egg was. After that, I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interested. Did you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see here. 14,000 credits? That's an enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. I kicked the machine. <laughs> that smirk. She's so self-aware. Well, uh, thank you for your time, please. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Of course, can do. Thank God she's not here. Cannon. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Huh. I don't know how to play that. Protag, we simply don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic. Probably a good point. I could play Blackjack, because it only <laughs> involves counting up to 21. Let's do it. Let's go find that damn fourth Chaos Emerald. Yo, chow on drums. Yo, I want a Master Emerald fucking chandelier. Now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. <laughs> Got him. We'll see what you say when you've had your microwave chili dogs and they're delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Humph. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. With who? An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Protag, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright. Ready to find some answers, Tails? Incubatively, my dear Protag. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> The Big Chow Band, booyah. Hey, it's the Big Chow Band. Ring-a-ding-ding. Some plinky plonky plonk. They don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> the four of Colleen O'Shaughnessy saying that line. Oh, Jesus. Let's listen to their other piece. Nice and jazzy, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> that was spiritual. <laughs> I feel reawakened. Yeah, music plan. Best zone in uh, Advance 2, in my opinion. Yep, from the best Advance game. Indeed. That's like one thing we agree on for Sonic. <laughs> sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or what if someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. Alright, tough love, I get it. Here goes nothing. Ah! <laughs> Yo, I see OV8 loaves in there! Not so bad, just dusty. Yes, you're right. Boo! Go fuck yourself, Protag. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help it. Protag, I'm fragile. What's this? Tails, do you see this? Pull string? What? It's got to activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened. Oh, this is saucy as hell. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. 
Oh! This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. Oh, oh, that puts Vector and Nespio's things into jeopardy. Back through the passage before they spot us. There's layers here. There is. We need to add that to our inventory. Okay, okay. Hidden passageways added to your inventory. It's a big inventory. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Give me a high five? Doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. I'm not sure whether that delivery was meant to be sarcastic or not, but it works. Tails? Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Protag, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Protag? There's always something in the trash bin. Alright, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Ha! Ha ha ha! Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favourite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are you sure this isn't just trash? Let me have this. <laughs> I'll let you have this. <laughs> There's always success if you check the trash bin. Crumpled paper is added to your inventory. Obviously a reference to Honey the Cat from uh, Sonic the Fighters slash Fighting Vipers. This lounge has a computer complete with internet access. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. That's true. I gotta check the Smash Dojo. Seems like a printer's hooked up. Can we print something? Ah, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but it, I won't let it stump me. Yeah, there I am in the background with the crocs. Yup, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. We got to see the other picture as well, won't we? We do. Sonic rowing a boat, because obviously he can't swim. It's really that complicated. Have you ever had to print a work when you wanted it to? Valid point. <laughs> Fair enough. Yo. Yup, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. A key ring. Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Yeah, that tracks. Interesting there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. Oh yeah. Well, I suppose he's been giving keys out, so the ring has slowly, you know, gone down in uh, total. Yeah, it's kind of his role on the train in general, isn't it? Yeah, glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. No way! Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll hold you to it. Can I take your order? I'm not ordering a single thing till we get birthday cake. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise I'll get full on dinner and can't have any cake. You have priorities, I respect that. It just makes sense. Alright, what's the main man got to say? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare, so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Protag, we certainly will not. <laughs> Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you freak it out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why. Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? Hehe, <laughs> time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. 
we're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following. So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car and then locked all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain, remain anonymous, but I think the point still stands. My source claims that Tom can't speak and they never saw Sonic again <laughs> after he went to that car. Why? Because he was trapped and he couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound, though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Protag and I can explain the car change, however. Protag, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Well, the, uh, the map for one thing. By which I mean the hidden passage, that is what I meant. Okay, just get my thoughts in order, and back to the game dimension we go. Surprised we didn't have to do this for uh, Blaze and Rouge. Well, I suppose we did have like the entire separate story. That was kind of like just a breather from the formula on the whole that chapter, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it though, because uh, this is fine. Uh, I probably wouldn't have been as fine with it if it appeared again so soon, so you're definitely right. It was a breather. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to spice the stuff out. And there we go. God, we would be supersonic by now if these things were emeralds. Protag and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? Uh, a secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Protag. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor's car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course this is just a theory. A game theory. I, uh, don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. Ha, seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humour you once again. If Shadow travelled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did SBO and Vector not see him? Well, um... I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Protag, do you have any guesses? SBO and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Well, Ve this, these are both true. <laughs> That's true, Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. See, things are falling into place. But what about Espio? I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Espio reading in the library checks out, that's what he told me too. He's lying. Is he? What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Oh, like I'd believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true, everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I, I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps Protag and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Protag, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was given keys away? The key ring, of course. I thought it was a scrunch up paper. <laughs> that feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. I gotta charge up this logic Kamehameha. By the way, I'm pretty sure that's actually Katie voicing that think shout at the start there, which I thought was pretty cool. Ah, cool, yeah. They're getting a bit more aggressive with things falling on you now. Are these meant to be like chaos spears raining down? 
not entirely sure. They're just sort of vague obstacles. You're doing fine at this. I don't see what the problem was. We're not at the hard one yet, Tom. Oh boy. There's only one reason there's actually two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give SVR and Vector. No way! Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those been for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth, then what? If Shadow did murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have had for locking all the doors? OCD? She's right. Her theory is strong. Tells and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Protek and I know exactly why Shadow is locking the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I have just one question for you. Huh? Is everyone today giving you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Sonic and Shadow haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Protag. Ah, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy a birthday key, not Shadow. So, why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? He wanted to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Protag. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. Okay, I think there's a, a very odd, nefarious reason for why he was doing this. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. I'm just a little guy. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? How dare. Protag, show me evidence. Uh, huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Ah, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows that Shadow didn't want Amy to know? Uh. Oh, I see. Was he trying to get tickets for Amy before she found out? Starting to add up a little bit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> But hey, at least he, like, bothered to go through the trouble of getting her a present. He's doing his best, God bless him, even if he can't work the printer. <laughs> Look, he's an old man, alright? He's 50 years old. I feel like I have to keep bringing that up, you know. Yeah, but at the same time, how much of that time has he actually been conscious? I don't think, I don't think he's a boomer in spirit, at least. Then there's the whole thing about being, like, physically 50, but you've only been conscious for 12 years, etc. Yeah, that raises some more questions. It sure does. We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band tickets website. Oh. Tails, don't. Gasp! Ah! This is Hot Honey's website! No way, I love them! Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is my current favourite. That sounds like an Archie OC. All the members have B <laughs> after their name. Yeah, see, he isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. Oh, the situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of Hot Honey's band tickets website exists because Shadow was buying tickets for Amy. W what Shadow? Is this true? Are, are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Ah. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. That's an expensive present. Shadow. I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what happened. 
I'm not fantastic for computers, admittedly. <laughs> Sonic Boomers! I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder, spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Probably our fault, though. Uh, sorry. That's all the detective's job, I suppose. When I arrived on the train, I realised everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately <laughs> began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remember Damien had never seen Hot Honey live and I looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realised, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the tickets? Precisely, I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I wanted to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. Aww. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to leave and let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here. <laughs> and it's because the conductor gave me this. The master birthday key. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. <laughs> Shadow Eye, your gesture is so sweet, and after I accuse you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. Uh, I don't know if... Too late, it's happening. Eee, I can't wait, the show of a lifetime. Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. Aww. I expect lots of pictures from the concert. Don't fucking push it, Fox Boy. <laughs> Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. What's the source for your big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be sharp, but my principles must stay intact. That's new for a journalist. Oh, got him. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Huh? We need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. Oh, it's getting spicy, and I'll join as well. Time to see this fruit at the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Protag, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. Aww. Pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this tales. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on then, let's do it. Once we've looked out the window. Fair enough. Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. Yeah! <laughs> big cameo, big cameo! Go ahead, why do don't we? Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murderer lingering in the air... Despite the murder lingering in the air... <laughs> just thought the same thing. I guess we're psychically linked right now. Come on, to the conductor's car! Yippee! I wonder what we'll find there. The conductor, I'm sure. Admittedly, I haven't seen the conductor in a while. I hope he's alright. Ready to go to the conductor car? Yes. Let's finish this. It's now or never. Yeah. Green. should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Really? Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. There's actually a surprising amount of stuff to look at here. A microphone! We can talk to the whole train with this! Should I say something? We're all gonna die! Protag, why are you reaching for the mic? <laughs> it's so stupid we've got, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> that was impressive, Protag. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they used to show information and advertisements. They're nice, the picture is really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. 
I saw a slide that said, Happy birthday, Amy. That was so cute. Probably because it's my birthday. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. The high quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favours. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. Too much detail. Don't you say it. It's a little bit suspicious. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Don't really. Oh, the uh, the tails, right. <laughs> Pro tag. Ah. I didn't realise these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognise some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true, you could drive this train flawlessly. Oh, guys. Maybe we'll have to put that to the test soon. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he's told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. That's his way of trying to be supportive. <laughs> Pretty much. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side. Paradise. Alright, alright, we get it. He loves his wife. Just marry Rouge already, you cook. You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, right? Uh, I know they say I always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Now, what I didn't think to check is there's apparently an extra line if you check it again where there's nothing in there. Ah, okay. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to say this off, but the question is why? The confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot arm added to the inventory. Huh. What's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart, that's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto the train. Oh my. Hmm, that shouldn't have been possible. Tells us right, the train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them on board. Let's make a note of this. Someone would have to have access to the train systems, or be able to hack into the train systems to get around that. Interesting. Isn't it odd that we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he'd had to drive the train the entire time. I'd guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. Fa ha 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 Well, you two? Think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Protag? Ready to solve this case? I think we're about ready. Hello everyone, this is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. And so everyone arrived. Look at all these sprites. Everyone. <laughs> 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 Wonderful to have you all here. Tells and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Protag. Why hasn't Sonic showed up? A little bit dead right now. <laughs> Vector, real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He was still pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready? Let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities, I feel catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I can see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, SVO. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. Sequel bait, maybe? Yeah, absolutely. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! Huh? Huh? What in the world?
That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? He he's not responding to us. Sonic! Sonic! What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic! Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but... Somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room. And punish the one responsible. He really was hurt this whole time and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Protag, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Hmm. Who do you think? None of these people. That can't be right. Neither Tails or I can be the murderer. That's right. Let me pick again. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Again, I don't think any of these people did this. A lot of options here. Espio. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of which you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. Well, the, you're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man's reading. You have nothing. Restating SBO's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. SBO was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. Oh, new evidence. Oh, that's right. Could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question SBO's alibi? We discovered a hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from your library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits be behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true. Didn't miss a question. But I think Protag and I can explain that too. Protag? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? He's a speed reader. Espio's a poet. I feel such a profession would make you quite the reader. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorised it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. Oh, what? That's absurd. Memorising a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. What a prick. <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorised the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car, where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what-ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would Espio have even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Protag and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Protag? Who here has the evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? That would be Rouge. She is the one who's been around everywhere looking for all the hidden stuff, isn't she? We need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. 
This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Protag, do you have an answer for it? How could Espio have seen these blueprints? He found them before Rouge did? That's the only thing that comes to mind for me. Oh! There's a code included with these blueprints I thought was odd. That code is classified information. Could these blueprints have belonged to the conductor? That makes a lot of sense, actually. I remember the conductor pulling blueprints out to show me something during my interview. Espio could have swiped the blueprints, found out about the passage, then stuffed them somewhere. Come to think of it, I did discover the blueprints in the library car. Oh, no way! In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints, then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Protag and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Protag and I have evidence on how it was done. Uh, oh, this is rich, pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Mm -hmm. Oh no. <laughs> the calling card of a ninja. Just a little bit suspicious, I. Eh? Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus your close protag. What would Sonic do? Run. Run away from all your problems and responsibilities. He would just pull his game gear out and not think about anything else. Ah, a solid five minutes of <laughs> gameplay time. Uh, they are really getting more liberal with the bottomless pits at this point in the game, so that's what you do really have to watch out for. Oh, shit. That's the sort of thing that caught me off guard in a lot of unused takes. Okie dokie then. Very good sprite work there, I gotta say. It is beautiful. Compliments the hand-drawn stuff. Oh. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot, that's a good point. But Tails was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage. If he took the hidden passage back, then he'd end up back in the library. Protag and I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? I guess that makes sense. Now a proper look at the blueprints. Alright, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, Protag, think! I'm thinking, but nothing's coming to mind right now. No, every time I sit down to think, I get distracted by Sonic running for a special stage. Strange that. <laughs> oh, uh, I was reading like, a theory on Twitter the other day. Uh, someone said the, um, the special stages you get the emeralds from may just be an extension of cyberspace. I did see some comments about that. Um, I think it's a bit of a reach, but maybe. That could be something they work with. Well, every theory's a reach. Look at what we're dealing with here. I just think it's a cool concept. <laughs> Not a bad idea, yeah. So if he didn't take the secret passage, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? It would have to be straight down. Oh, there's a path above the conductor's car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Interesting. Perhaps you can access it. Through the vent over there? Oh, sus! The vent, of course, that must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There is a path back here, and a track. A, a track, huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move through the train. So you're saying, I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realise we both couldn't fit up there. 
Espio's right, this is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer, my name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Well, the robot arm, perhaps? Possibly. Let's give it a shot. Now to think about my arguments. You can do this, Protag. You can do this! We're doing a lot of thinking lately. <laughs> really? That they are making up for lost time with these things. Maybe at this point it gets a little bit much, but at the same time, you know, it's a little bit of gameplay to sort of spice up a visual novel, so I don't mind it being a little bit repetitive, you know? And it is the first game that this group made, as far as I'm aware, at least for, uh, you know, this sort of thing, so they can always uh, fix it up, add more games uh, if they ever decide to do a, uh, a sequel. I, I want to uh, try out that escape room, by the way. You can have different escape rooms themed after zones or areas in the franchise. That could be cool, yeah. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground. Clearly a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. What if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arm? Oh! I can see that, those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have got him. Interesting fairy tales, but you have to admit these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to Espio yet, but I have found one inconsistency. Oh! What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? We have our journalist on board. Oh yeah! The source. You received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Tails, you're right! Espio lied to me! Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? <laughs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I said uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passengers' safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. W what? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? Well, you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Gah! And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car, and lied to Amy casting further blame on Shadow, for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. Like a ninja. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone. It only could have been one person. It was you, Espio! Take that! Got the pose. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Ah, uh, uh. oh, I'm up. Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> hey guys! Sonic, you're okay! Sonic, just as we solved the mystery, SPO was the murderer. Right. Dramatic flashback. SPO jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though. Really? It's not lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great. I could use a nap. No, wait. There's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The trains are bad, Nick. Oh, fuck. I kind of suspected this, honestly. You need to lie back down. No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. 
I asked to see the power source, the conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realised the train's powered by a flicky. Those bastards! Oh my god! Uh, that tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple bad nick. Hmm. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Ah. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me down to the floor. Ah! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Interesting. Oh no! <sighs> Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. <laughs> <laughs> the situation has gotten so serious, why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. <laughs> you shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. Oh no. Interesting. It says, use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. He's laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it. One of the robotic arms handed it to me. Oh. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Protag, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? The train itself. And if it's a bad nick, it follows that it was following someone's specific orders. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture for a good while. The train itself is plotting something. Ugh. First we learned the train's a bad nick, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is. But clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train! Come out and show yourself! Amy! It's my birthday! I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be another way to get the train's attention. What, what was that? Oh no. Red lights aren't usually a good sign. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? <laughs> Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him! Oh. Oh. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? <laughs> That's the part you take issue with. <laughs> uh, the conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games like we always planned. What are you... Enough! The train's picking up speed. 
Everyone, grab something! Which one of these buttons turns the train off? I'm not sure it works like that. Sonic! Ha! Ha 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 ha! Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! He's especially scary. He's got the evil fun. I can't keep my footing. Ah! Ah! Bonk. The murder of the entire Sonic cast. So this is set at the end of the timeline. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it would have to be. A bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Ugh. Ah. My head. Tails? Amy? Ugh. Is anyone there? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm so sorry. Are, are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train arms for us back to the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question, but for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? Fanboy moment. I'm doing amazing! Well, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I, uh, might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea, lead the way. Well, I guess if they're keeping his kidnapped, the robot arms are still doing a touch of cleaning. Oh, what a mess it is. With the robot arms going rogue, I wonder who will have to pick all this up. Look at all this salt that's spilled. No wonder you're having bad luck. Quick, pick some up and toss it over your shoulder. A pinch of salt and there, over the shoulder. Perfect, I can already tell our luck is turning around. Yeah, I guess you're right. Why do I actually feel calmer? Because Sonic said it, that's why. <laughs> hey, one of those robotic arms are here too. Yow, it swiped at me. Best to leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. <laughs> Good call. We've got to get out of here before that arm swipes at us again. Oh, we could just look at other stuff. The conductor and I found Vector's ticket in this napkin holder. What was his ticket doing there? Maybe he confused a napkin for his ticket and his ticket for a napkin. <laughs> Hope his ticket didn't have a ketchup stain. Oh man. What? What's wrong? The windows are all covered up now. I never got to look at the pretty views. What were being murdered or all? I think we were saying this train sites couldn't be beat. After all we've been through, I'm sure the train company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. You nearly got killed. Here's five found off. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Isn't that the truth? That yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Oh. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. <laughs> You got some nerve shine up here, Egghead. Ho 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 ho, you spiky blue pest! Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me, you fucking NPC. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman Land, these problems would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Dr. Predictable? The people fear giant spheres. It's science. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a bandic is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision, and report to me if any of you happened aboard. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it, the train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I need to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my bandits compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. 
So I instituted a bounty upon my army of bandits. First to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. Hmm. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward. Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever. <laughs> but a highly intelligent train wants two autographs. Oh. As much as I like reward programs, aren't you, are you dumb blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do get lost. <laughs> Owned. <laughs> Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation, and being made by Eggman is no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were all in danger and I just went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been kidnapped, or captured even. Should I have been more assertive earlier? Made more microwave meals? Time to be sad. Aww. I'm in my sad boy arc. I knew Sonic was hurt all along. Hey. Huh? I can tell the situation is getting to you. Oh, yeah, sorry. Hi. I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me think this through before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Oh, haha. <laughs> okay, you're right. I'll be the tails then. Let's keep moving forward and make things right, just like Sonic would do. We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? What would you do? No matter the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure it out. The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what would Sonic do? So what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends, by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Oh, I just noticed what the uh, music is a remix of. Haha, <laughs> bit of it doesn't matter going on. Now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. But hold on to your pants, we're not wearing any. <laughs> I don't think we'll be getting another chance. Ready to go? And there's the line. Let's do it to it. <laughs> Had to get one in. That's the spirit, let's go find our friends. To the conductor car to end this mystery. Alright, how do you think we're gonna get there? Fast. Ah, but of course. Alright, our friends are locked up in the cars ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next door. Let's do this. Oh yeah. It's been training us to do this, but now we're doing it for real. And I do appreciate the little nod back to Frontiers. It's little things like that that are why I'm saying there's no reason this couldn't be canon. Oh, do you mean the, the extra boost of speed from maxing out your rings? Yeah. Oh, interesting. It's all one seamless thing. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm going to clobber him. We're going to deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I like how they switched out Sonic's model specifically for this version. Yeah, like he got his cool captain's hat. That's really cool. <laughs> oh, oh, you cut it close a little bit there, Flame. Oh, I'm cutting all of these very close. <laughs> I hope your heart can take it, because mine can't. Can. Uh, I've been drinking Pepsi Max for like the past four days. I think it's about to explode. Yeah, well, at least that's got no sugar or flavour. Yeah. <laughs> of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get off this stupid train. Let's go. Oh, we in the purple now, boys. It's such a smooth, like, pixel art animation. I love it so much. Oh, is the background changing depending on what locale we're in? I think it is, yeah. Like, this has got all the casino aesthetics going on. I didn't actually notice that. That's really cool. Sonic! It's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. Let's boogie. 
Now we have waveforms in the background because of the chow band. I don't know if you noticed, but it's, as we've done more of these games, it's been getting wider and wider, which does more to fuck with my inability to read the isometric angle. <laughs> Eggman didn't want to make things too easy, though. Eggman's also making me use WASD controls, which as a console peasant my whole life really hurts. <laughs> ah well, suck it up. They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more, let's go. That would be a conversation between those two, direct and straight to the point. It is, and it's part of why I like their dynamic together, just in general. I cannot wait to see how they portray Shadow in the third movie, because uh, Jeff Fowler, the guy who was uh, the director, well, just the director for the films, got his start doing CGI work on Shadow the Hedgehog, the game, not the character. That's no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right, I am ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. Alright, Eggman. What you got for us? Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me. I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land and probably another Death Egg. Hmm. Not sure about that second one. Maybe I will all turn you into robots to give Sage some new toys to play with! Now, you guys won't to know this, because obviously all this will be edited together, but when Sage was mentioned, I got so excited, I accidentally threw my <laughs> keyboard up off the desk and it paused the video. <laughs> yeah, we just really like the fact that this is even more canon reference to Frontiers. <laughs> I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Gotta hand it to him. This has been a... Oh, nice. We've got a boss. And this is where it just throws literally everything at you. You got the bottomless pits. You got the things popping out the ground. There'll be more, like, rope crumbling later. Yeah, this was definitely my first take. No questions needed. Yeah, I can see it, though. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave me like it was nothing? Who do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. I think there's an interesting bit of theming going on here in like the idea of selfish desires versus like letting things go and it's thrown back a little bit to Black Knight for me. Got a similar kind of idea going, like an internal conflict sort of thing. Yeah, like things can't last forever. You gotta be careful not to do the thing that we also had in Fallen Star where you were tempted to jump over the springs. Ugh, let's be friends forever! The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Because he can't keep working when he's 90, that's unreasonable. <laughs> well, a robot wouldn't understand that. Certain governments wouldn't understand that. <laughs> mm. That's some bullshit, that one there. Like at this final boss theme they've got here. When I saw that it was a visual novel, I was kind of expecting like a very bare bones presentation because that's kind of what you would expect from like just a freeware visual novel that you can play. But no, they've gone above and beyond in every point, and I really appreciate that about this. I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses. How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely. So lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No, stop! What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this! We have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. Are we done? No, there's something else we've got to do yet. Oh my god. The boss fight itself is the train. Well, it is a bad thing, it makes sense. I can't get over how this entire train is powered by a single flicky. 
Well, you saw him in the picture. He's on that treadmill. He knows what he's doing. Or his hamster wheel, even. God. <laughs> I'm just saying, a cow sampled is, you know, usually what you'd need to power a machine this big. Oh, nice. Oh, there he is. A flicky? This is just like the law card, where my ex-best friend left detective work to join Eggman. So this really is a bad nick. Mistakes rise every second. We gotta save him. On it. Let's show our full power. Sweet Jesus, they're not giving you many chances to uh, safely get rings here. Like I mentioned earlier, there is an assist mode if you need it. But also, this is hype as fuck even if it is hard. Yeah, for sure. As tricky as that seemed, still a lot easier than some of the Seventh Chaos Emeralds in uh, certain games. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Especially when you take the post several ones in, like, Encore mode and that. Uh -huh. What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me? Selfish? How dare you! Alright, final phase I think. God, it's like sensory overload at this point, isn't it? <laughs> I believe in you, Flame. You can do this. I don't believe in me. Uh, one of your better tanks can do it. You have a lot of optimism, Tom. I do. It's the only way I get through the day, mate. It's when I see that I've just passed the ring count that I'm then terrified I'm going to hit something and knock myself back under. Yep, relatable. No, 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 no! No! Oh! Yeah, flicky gear. It's over. For you! Time to pay for ruining my birthday. And he's fucked. <laughs> God damn. So was that using the shitty imitation hammer again then? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Bye. This is just what she wanted for her birthday. The train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. Fuck you, I'm taking Sonic now. Fuck. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. You can have it back. That's what you get when you mess with my special day. I... I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. Oh. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. I mean, you just killed one of my oldest friends, but... Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, I assure you, though. We'll, I'll never forget our time together. What a thing to have to emotionally cope with on your last day of work. I'm not paying for that. Eh, you have insurance, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> we did it! Well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step! It, it's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we just ask Vanilla to make dinner. That might be safer. <laughs> you don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? Uh, actually, I'm going to miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Oh, honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. Fahaha, <laughs> you'll honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. Faha, <laughs> fahaha. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spigonia in the morning and you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation, something terrible. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? Fahaha, an old friend, I think. 
Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Sheep, 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 sheep. I like that. It's kind of an SA1 sort of thing, where the Flicky's carrying the memory. Oh, was the Flicky running the train all these years? That's kind of the implication I got. Huh. Don't be. You were just following what you thought was the game, and you lost it. So you cringe. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. <laughs> Seriously, a dart? <laughs> it would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry for murdering you. We're cool, and now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving? I forgot we never ate. With all the platter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too, I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Wait, where do you go? Everyone, guess what? This station has a bakery, and look what I bought! Ah, a birthday cake! Oh, they did a custom one pretty quick. Happy birthday, Amy! Woo! To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity, may you never lose your fifacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personality. Good. Happy birthday! I'm not smart enough to know if personality is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, oh, ah, oh, you guys. Bless. We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but, but, I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything, never in a million years. You guys will ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Yes please, dig in everyone. Yay! I hope it's chocolate. It turned out it was strawberry. Yay! <laughs> That's adorable, I love that. That's fantastic. Obot, prepare a bath, it's been a long day. The apple rubber ducky or the angry one? ANGRY! <laughs> Come on, read the room. <laughs> Sour choice, you evil. Now shut it! I fucking love the Let's Go Dad t shirts. <laughs> it is perfect, yeah. <laughs> and that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends, entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment and then back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean there. As for me, I. Oh, interesting. You can pick your own ending. And then... Won millions in the lottery, and after all that, I... Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's just been my life, as random as it seems. There's your alternate endings. <laughs> and that, folks, was the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. We hope you've enjoyed this long play. That was just a really charming, well done, and just enjoyable April Fool's gift, shall we say. And the best part, it's substantial, you can actually play it, and it gives you a good feeling at the end of it, because a lot of love and soul was put into this. The music was great, all the art is fantastic, the writing, uh, a couple of things aside, which are nitpicks, honestly, is pretty much perfect. So thank you, Ian, for your uh, stuff here, and for uh, Katie... Mikhail, Alan, Greg, and Justin's contributions as well. This was just great. I really enjoyed it. Same. I think this does a lot of things right, and it was presented as an April Fool's joke, and I get that that was kind of the pretext for giving something that's so out of character for the Sonic series, but it also stands on its own and I appreciate that a lot about it there's a lot of heart and soul as you mentioned yeah you know the characterization I think is great it, I appreciate that we get to just see these characters dicking around and their interactions with one another yeah it just gives that extra level of depth to them I feel and I like that a lot so yeah honestly nothing to complain about here really all right folks that'll do it for this playthrough i guess uh, i guess it's a playthrough we'll see you next time for another hfc sonic the hedgehog lp bye for now